Welcome everybody to DXP Diecast Racing. Gonna throw a few different cars on the track today just to see if we can find some speed. Got another Baja Bison. We'll find out if that was a outlier or if these things really do have some speed. This is new for 2023. Raced one of these not too long ago. Got a couple of them here. We're gonna put some dust on these things and see if these things are fast. Never know till you try it. A little weird collection this morning. Still wondering if these things are fast or if they're not fast. Ultra hot from this year, 2023. Shelby GT, we're gonna run another one of those. Got this guy right here. This is the, I don't know what series it's from, but it's the Invader. Now this is the version that's got the two small front wheels. But I have seen this thing on a few tracks have a little bit of speed. I'm not going to set any records with it, but we'll find out if that's worth anything. David over at Elevation Diecast said this car is the one to get right here from Overwatch. He's got a few in his ranks. I'm going to put this one on the track. See if it's worth its weight. If so, I think I know where a couple more are. We'll find out. And then also, I picked this one up just a few weeks ago. This is a Matchbox Cadillac Limousine. Got that long wheelbase. Don't know if it's going to be worth anything or not. We'll find out. We're going to run them. Stay with me. All right. We got all the cars ready to go. Got them dusted up. Let's put these on the track, see if we can find some speed out of any of these. These bison, I have numbered under the bottom. That one's number two. This one's number three, number five, and number four. So we're going to run them in these pairings right here, and let's see. Let's see what happens. Number two versus number three. I'm going to put number three in lane one. All right? And we're going to put number two in lane two. Let's see if these bison have got any speed. Sorry, I had to get the cord. Sorry about that. Let's see if we can find something. Ready, set, go. Pretty close race. 22.52 to a 22.65. Nothing extravagant. 13,000 win by number three. Let's swap lanes. They were pretty close going down the hill. Pretty close going down the hill. Got number two over here in lane one. And we've now got number three over here in lane two. Ready, set, go. 22.61 to a 22.67. Definitive, this guy right here which is number three is the faster barely barely i mean that's not incredible speed but anyway let's do these other bison while we're at it number four versus number five we're gonna put number five in lane one we're gonna put number four in lane two now the crazy thing about this you see how these they're kind of wanting to right up just a little bit on my pegs just by design my pegs are just not quite tall enough for this casting ready set go 22 looks like 2253 to a 2273 so this is number five with a 20 thousandths beat Run these back up here. Some people are having some success with these and some people are not impressed with them. They they look the part. They just are not quite heavy enough for what I would really want them to be. Ready, set, go. It 
Looks like lane one. Same car, 2151 to a 2256. So it definitely looks like number five is a little bit faster than number four. But anyway, this is a good test session. If you haven't seen these new for 2023, um, they got a long wheelbase. Big tires, they weigh, weigh right around 41, I believe. So. so here's another test. People are saying these right here have got some speed sometimes, and then sometimes you can't find anything. They're really pretty, Spectre Flame with the gold yellow. They're, they're great to mod. All right, if you're a modder, you may not want to pay the, the uh, ultra hot price for them but uh, they are a good card to mod. We're gonna put him up against the 76. I'm gonna put 76 over here, Overwatch in lane two. We're gonna put this ultra hot Shelby Mustang over in lane, well, maybe just a Shelby before it was a Mustang, in lane one. Ready, set, go. 2252 to a 2262. Only a 10,000's beat right there. But this car right here, who really did, uh, wheels worked really well on that one. We'll swap him up. Put the Shelby over here in lane two. And the 76 Overwatch car in lane one. Ready, set, go. Goes 76 got him 2236 to a 2257. Not a bad time, not a bad time on this car right here. Uh, that one did not really work that well, but oh well. Got this Matchbox Limousine, another long base car going against this Invader. Invader in lane one, Matchbox in lane two. I have not weighed any of these cars. I have no idea what they weigh. Ready, set, go. Decent race. Looks like the Invader pulled it out. 2308 to a 2332. Both of those cars are terrible. <laughs> wow. Right there, a 24,000 win by the Invader. Man, it's such a pretty car. Why can't it be faster? Why can't it be faster? Wow. So the Invader's got a substantial lead on the Matchbox. Let's see if he can still pull it out. Ready, set, go. He does. 2297 to a 2315. A little bit faster that run. So the Invader is gonna pull it out over the Matchbox. That car is just not very heavy for what it, what it should be here. Let's weigh this thing up before we, because this may be the last time you'll see this car unless it a, becomes a mod somewhere down the road. Matchbox Cadillac Limousine, 36.16, gosh. If this thing right here was about 45, maybe 50, whew. but oh well, is what it is. Kind of a lightweight. Let's run these two, let's run these two off first. We got the Baja versus the Invader. Baja number five going in lane one. The Invader with those little bitty wheels up on the front in lane two. Ready, set, go. Wow, Baja took off. 2236 to a 2305. Not a bad time. Not a bad time at all. That's what, whew, that's over a 50, 50 thousands beat. This is irrelevant pretty much. But we're going to run them anyway, just because we can. Looks like the Baja Bison truck over here. I'll take this one. Ready, set, go. Oh, yeah. Just zoomed by him. 2242 to a 2293. So this Invader right here that I got, um, yeah. Uh, little bitty wheels, not that fast. This guy, not slow, but not elite. We'll find out. Baja, 
the other Baja. This is number three going in lane one. This may be a pretty good race. Going up against this Overwatch 76 car. David from Elevation Diecast. It's his pick. Ready, set, go. And when I say his pick, I had never seen this car until uh, until I saw it on his channel. That's a 22 thousandths beat right there. 43 to a 65. Never seen this car, really. I, I've seen it on the shelf, but didn't think nothing of it. And that car right there, car right there seems to do fairly well. Put him over here, got a good beat over. Swap him up over here in lane one against this bison. Ready, set, go. Oh yeah, 2233 to a 2261. So this car right here, got potential. And this guy right here goes back over there. So these two right here are gonna race it off. This is number number five on these things. These things, I I don't know. I think you could have a. I think you could probably find one or two out there that are pretty good. Um, I do have one in the case. Ready, set, go. Thirty-seven to a thirty-nine. Not bad. Got a two thousands win by this guy right here. Find out here. You can take him in this other lane. And he's gonna ride up just a hair. Ride up just a hair. I don't know if that's affecting him or not. I don't know. But is what it is. Ready, set, go. Boy, they get lost by three thousands, thirty-nine to a thirty-six. So this guy right here, I'm gonna take him a close run by this guy. Let's see what he weighs. See what he weighs. He may be worth grabbing if you find him out on the shelf somewhere. 41.75. What does this one weigh? I wonder what this guy weighs. I didn't weigh any of these, just that last one I know. 41.51, so that's real close. Real, real close. He will be in this case right here. Can he get in? He's got to get over this guy right here. This is the marooned way too fast. It's a pretty car. I love these way too fast. Put him over here in lane one. I'm going to put you over here in lane two. See if he can get in. Gatekeeper. Ready, set, go. Looks like he's gonna be a little bit behind him. 22.19 to a 22.49, that's a 30,000 beat. We'll swap them, but I believe it's irrelevant. That way too fast, I believe, is gonna be way too fast. But, that's all right. Ready, set, go. Yeah, he went right around him. 2220 to a 2243. So the way too fast is gonna hold tough on this guy right here. So nobody got in. That's all right. I don't think there's any reason to, to run the other one. Well, let's do this. Since this guy right here was pretty much the fastest, Let's run him against this guy right here that we ran, put that over a little bit, ran a couple weeks ago. We're gonna put him over here in lane one. This is, the, this is the guy that's in the case, and this is the guy that just got in second. Number five, ready, set, go. It's not, not a, Huge beat, tw 10 thousandths. Let's swap them up. Swap them up. That guy right there needs to go to lane two. Kind of surprising the thought that would be a little bit bigger beat on that, but I don't know. 
I think they're I think they're worth grabbing a few just to see if you're interested. Ready, set, go. I think you can get one that's I think you can find one that's fairly fast. That one right there got a seven thousandths beat. He's not running as good of times as he was, but anyway, that guy's going over here to the truck lot. Put him back up there. He did. I mean, it's on film. This guy beat some cars, so. DXP Diecast Racing. Got some decisions to make here. Don't know. As you can see, my, I got 35 and under. 49 to 36 and then I got 61 50 and 62 over and then my top case right here uh, I got some decisions to make here originally I went with these simply because I had one case and I broke them down I just wanted to make it easy but I got another case here I just picked this up. Let me see if I can get it over here. Ugh. Just got another case. Real cheap. So, I can hang this thing up and swap my numbers if I wanted to and make this 49 to 40 and then do a 30, um, 39, 30, and then an under 30, I guess. But do I really want to do that? If I do, it's, I don't know. Questions, questions, questions. Hmm. I'm going to have to think about it. Good racing out there, everybody. These boys right here, LCDRL, check them out on YouTube. Got some good races going on. If you are interested in any kind of racing, check out Redline Derby Racing or the diecast drag racing page on facebook both of them have good races going on you can uh pick your choice there if you're into uh the open tracks or the drag tracks Let's see what else going on here blue line racing dominating a whole lot of races of late check him out he's always got some good content on his stuff Go down here. Who else we got? Oh, it's the new one. Look at that. Low Country Diecast Racing League. Elevation Diecast has got some good stuff going on. Extreme Diecast Racing. Got some good stuff going on. Scale Racing Channel. Back at it. You better check him out. He's got some good stuff going on. Good guy, Mr. Brandon. A lot of other good channels out there. Hot Wheels, baby. We're going to have some races. See all these old stuff up here that's been on here for a long time? It's fixing to get wiped off. More races are coming this way at DXP. Diecast Racing Complex. Skeeter Ridge, y'all know. I've been bit a couple of times here lately. Got some more good stuff coming. Hope you watch, comment, subscribe, like if you want to. Watch some of these other channels out there. There's a lot of good channels out there. I'm missing a lot of good folks. Chase Family Racing. Uh, Diecast. What is that? Uh, I never can remember his. Diecast. It's something Diecast 164. I ought to know him. He's from Tennessee. Got some awesome tracks, though. Um, look for him out there. Good stuff. We'll see y'all on the track.